Go to the ball, make the ball come to you. What do we mean by that? Well, I, it's just two aspects of how we approach the pitch. When the pitcher comes up to the top of the pitch and he releases, we're going to stride. That's the go to the ball phase. It's just to overcome inertia, get us into motion in case it's a fastball, but most of all, it gets us in position to hit. The stride never hits the ball, but merely positions us. Now, as the ball enters into the contact zone, we're going to turn on it and hit it. Now, if we do the two actions, fastball would be stride, stroke, stride, stroke. Let's do that one again. Fastball, stride, stroke. What if it's not a fastball? Stride, stroke. Again, the stride doesn't hit the ball. One more time. Stride, stroke. The stride doesn't hit the ball. It gets us into position to hit the ball. Medium strokes and game speed strokes are next. Let's start with medium speed, approximately a 75% stroke. And we'll just do about five or six of those. Get the idea of how the hips take us to the ball. We're going to do another one, low pitch. We're going to do a pitch now that's outside with the hip flex. We're going to come back, pitch middle inside, hip turn, right? Go back to a hip flex, all these working mediums. Come back to a hip turn. We're just going to alternate. High pitch, low pitch, hip turn again, low pitch, high pitch as we go through the strokes. Now we're going to pick it up to game speed where we will now go hip flex, hip turn, and then we'll go high low. Opposite feel, hip flex. Hip turn. When hitters learn how to use the hip flex properly, they never have any problem with the oppos. They can hit oppos with no problem at all. No hitter can hit with the bat in a vertical position. He must get the bat in what we call the power position. So that is the two o'clock position. The bat is slightly above the hands and then that plays an important role because when we stride and when we pivot, if the hips just turn us, the bat is perfect. We can hit the high pitch, we go back to the shoulder, let's hit the low pitch. We're totally in control of how we'll hit each one of those pitches coming out of that drive position. And so one more time, we'll go back to the stance and the best position for the bat, for a right-hander, two o'clock, for a left-hander, 10 o'clock. The knob comes inside the ball, you are immediately ready to hit in our situation where we teach stance step.
Well, I certainly hope that some of the suggestions and rules that we have presented in this tape will, will help you to maybe do a better job in hitting. At least some of the ideas that we've presented uh, hopefully can be put into your program and that it's our best wish that uh, they will help you to accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish as a hitter. Again, we thank you for allowing us to present these rules to you and we hope that you have success in your hitting.